Hey guys, this is behind the scenes of the sneaker collection video. I have about like 30 pairs of shoes, 2 pairs of boots, and I got like 6 pairs of dress shoes. That would be another video for another day, but for now we'll focus on the sneakers. And I'll include the boots too. And of course you see my running shoes right there, my new balances. There goes my phone charging right there. And yeah, let's get into this thing. Hi guys, my name is Ozzy and today I'm going to be showing you all my sneak collection video and for those of you that are new to my channel, I do a lot of fashion videos, I also do comedy videos, I do outfit of the day, tutorials, and some other times it'll just be completely random stuff, so you're really going to have to just press that subscribe button and then tap the bell next to my name so you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video, because YouTube, they have like this glitch where it's not showing all the new subscribers when I upload a new video, so I'm just asking for like at least 100 likes, but this video is going to take me a long time to edit because like I said, I have over 30 pairs of shoes, have to rearrange my whole room for this, it's a process, so if you care about the boy, you know what I'm saying, just go ahead and press that subscribe button, tap the bell next to it so you'll be notified because you know I'm dropping that fire content. I just got a new laptop so the editing is about to get a lot better. So let me go ahead and start off with the first pair of shoes. It's not even a pair of shoes to be honest, but this is an everyday thing that I wear. My Adidas Super Cloud Slides. As you can see, these things have been worn. Let me put it up close so you can see. I really wore these shoes to the ground. Like I, I've had this pair of slippers since last year, right before I graduated from high school. So I've been wearing these a lot. And then the next pair of shoes are a pair of Vans that I got back in 10th grade. That's right, I said it, 10th grade. I've really had these shoes for over four years. You know, the funny thing is, I really thought that my feet would stop growing when I got to a size 8 but I grew some more so in 10th grade I was fully at a size 9.5 and, and these are size 10 so fortunately for me I haven't grown past a size 10 and 10.5 and so these bands they're like my every other day shoes I wore these when I was trying to flex because at the time I only had 3 pairs of shoes but I had to make it work so I got a pair of shoes that like had all the colors in it so it matched everything they had the black laces as you can see I wore these so much that the bands logo started fading off the soul started wearing down, even skating these a few times too, so yeah, you gotta put that to the side. And I have these other pair of vans, these old school vans right here. I like these. The only bad thing, these are a size 12. I just got these for my cousin because I thought they looked nice, but for some reason they fit me. Like, they only, they fit like a size 11 instead of a 12, which is really weird. But that's that shoe. And then yeah, let me go ahead and get to the next shoe real quick. The next pair of shoes is a pair of Chuck Taylors. It's a pair of low tops that I got back when I was a senior, which was in 2015. And I got these as a birthday gift for my cousin. Shout out to him. He knows who he is. Kojo, you know who you are. So yeah, these are the low tops. I don't even wear these shoes as much as I should. I wore them like a total of 15 times since I've had them, which is crazy because you would think I would, I would wear them more. And my second favorite thing about this shoe is that the sole it's the exact same sole like that's on the box, which is pretty cool. So it's an awesome touch to have. And then I'm gonna show you another pair of Chuck Taylors that I have. A pair of leather Chuck Taylors, as you can see. This is really cool. Like I'm trying to like dress semi-casual or just have like a, a chill day. I'll put these on. And Chuck Taylors, they run large, so you have to go half a size down. So just keep that in mind. And these also they have the bottom of the shoe on it. It's pretty cool. They match. Isn't that tough? Yep. And then, yeah. So those are the only two pairs of Chuck Taylors I have. And then the next pair of shoes I want to show you guys are these Puma R698s. I actually saw these at a Barrington Co. Factory, and I asked my cousin to get them for me for Christmas, and she got them for me. So I was, like, so thankful that she did. And I put these silver aglets on them to give them a better look. And I think it makes the shoe look better. My favorite thing about the shoe is that it has this... American flag marble powder on the soles, which is like so awesome. Like, look at it, it looks like American uh, flag camo. That's awesome. And then the other pair of Puma shoes that I have are these Puma suede's, the navy blue with red, blue, and white stripes. And then the bottoms are white, the laces are navy blue. And I like this because only I don't even have a lot of navy blue shoes, so this is like pretty cool. And then it has comes in a red Puma box. And then another pair of shoes that I have. I'm gonna have to give me 100 likes for this video because 
I have all these shoes in my collection. These shoes I actually got from this uh, Instagram comedian. He used to be a Vine comedian, but now he's on Instagram and Twitter. Someone that you guys might know or may not know. His name is uh, King Paul. And he gave me these shoes. He was just giving out random stuff that he didn't want anymore. And I was one of the few people that he selected. So I got these ASO zipper shoes. They remind me of some Giuseppe's. And like it has like Mandarin snakeskin all over the shoe, which is pretty cool. It's not real snakeskin, so for all you PETA people out there, don't get offended. I don't wear real animals, you know what I'm saying? Well, okay, that's a lie. I, I wear shoes with leather in them, so, you know, yikes. But, you know, uh, PETA, don't be offended. They're just shoes. All right, so the next shoe I want to show you all is the New Balance 2000. The missiles used to be all white, but... They started yellowing back when I was 11th grade, so I had a friend paint them all black. So I have this like low-key cool custom, and I don't, I can't, the way my style changed, I can't even wear these as a lifestyle shirt. I can only wear these to the gym because they just don't look right with any of my outfits. It's too much purple, so it doesn't really work. So this is my gym shoe now, and yeah. So another shoe that I have that I'm working on right now. I'm about to do a custom for these Air Force One mids. I'm gonna use some gold Angeles paint and make. The upper is gold, and I'll do some other low-key stuff too. You'll see it when I do the customization video. But hey, you're not going to see the video if you don't press the subscribe button below and press that bell next to my name. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll never know when I upload the video. You might never see it coming. But yeah, that will be for another day. And then I have, oh man, this is a, this is a great shoe right here. You know the shoe is great when the packaging for the shoe looks this nice. Look at the artwork. The artwork is all over the shoe. Look at this. Wow, if you were a Star Wars fan, you would appreciate this shoe. But yeah, got, got Luke Skywalker, got Darth Vader, Princess Leia, R2-D2, and then uh, Chewbacca, you know what I'm saying? All the important characters, <laughs> nobody care about the rest of the guys. But basically, these shoes right here, they have like this uh, pirate slash Star Wars thing going on. With, like the lightsabers going through the, uh, what do you call it? Darth Vader's head and the Stormtroopers, which is pretty cool. And then one of the Darth Vader's has an eye patch, which is pretty lit. And man, I remember when I first got these shoes, I was so impressed because like it had like all this cool stuff. And bro, like check this out. On the tongue, it says Star Wars. And then the aglets are lightsaber handles, which is tough. And this is like this type of small stuff. And bro, these shoes are only sixty-five dollars. So like came with all this cool stuff so if you if you like the Star Wars video games or the movies or just the franchise in general and you like Vans then this is a win like $65 in a box like this you can buy a pair of Jordans for like $200 and they'll come in a basic boring box but these shoes right here not basic not boring and I have these other shoes right here these the box is all destroyed because I have all these heavy shoes on top of it but these are the Adidas NMDs as you can see right here this boost material, I wear these shoes like to school like every other day because they're so comfortable. Like, the only thing that you, that's bad about these shoes is that because it's prime knit, if it ever gets caught onto like something sharp, it'll start to unravel, which really sucks. But like this shoe really fits like a sock. Like you see this ankle part right here? It's literally built like a sock. And the boost makes the shoe so comfortable and breathable. You just can't wear these out in the rain and you can't be around sharp objects, otherwise the shoe is done. Yeah, then the next Adidas shoes that I have are these Adidas Superstars. I like the tongue. It reminds me of, it reminds me, actually, it doesn't remind me of anything. It's just a gold foil on the tongue, which is pretty cool. Oh no, I actually not remember what it reminds me. It reminds me of girls that have the, the highlight on their makeup. You know what I'm saying? See, peep that highlight though. And of course, this is a classic Adidas sneaker right here with the shell toe. People, all the break dancers, they used to dance in these shoes. People still dance in these shoes because you can't crease the toe. These things are like indestructible. You can real life dance in them, break dance, do flips in them. I've danced in these a few times. I've also done some flips in them, so I can I can assure you. We have these shell toes. These things are like indestructible. I mean they can get dirty, but I'm saying indestructible as of the shell toe. These things are, are built to do great things. So yeah. And then my last pair of Adidas shoes that I have in my collection are oh hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys guess. You see that? Oh, what does it say? Boost. It's probably backwards, but you know. This is my only pair of Yeezys that I have. I'm actually about to sell them because I rarely wear them, so it's kind of becoming a waste in my collection. 
but you guys can see it. We got triple white. It's gonna be hard to tell because like I have all this light in my room, so it's gonna look like a like it's gonna have all this overexposure. But the cool thing about the inside is that if you uh, take a picture of it with flash on, you'll notice that it's reflective. It has 3M on the on the insole, which is pretty cool. Not the insole, but the inside of the heel tab right here where the Adidas stripes are. That's why one of the best features. And these shoes are also very comfortable. They have boosts all throughout the shoe. And the bottom are dirty because I, I really only wore these for my birthday, a cookout, and I just wore it for an on-feed video that I did. So, yeah. That's just a flex piece. And then some other shoes I want to show you guys. These are just really bonus in this video because they're not really sneakers. But they're not dress shoes either. So you would wear these with jeans. So these are some Timberland 6 inch premium boots. They're not the traditional 6 inch because they don't have leather on the ankle collar. Rather this cotton, like this sweater material right here. The only reason why I don't wear these a lot because when I first got them, my mom assumed I was going to grow grow taller and my feet would get bigger. But my feet are still a size 10, 10 and a half. And these are size 11 and a half. And for those of you that don't know, Timberlands, they run like a size large. So you have to go a whole size down if you want to be able to rock them. And another pair of Timberlands that I have, I actually got a pair in my size earlier this summer while I could get it for a really good deal. I got these Timberlands for a steal. I got these Timberlands for $60. You can see right here. Let me use the other shoe for example because this thing is all floppy. But I got these. Sh <sighs> okay, guys, that was awkward. So my battery just died. Anywho, so like I was saying, I got these boots for sixty dollars. Bought them during the summer. They were they were used. So the person only wore a few times. It came with the box. So, you know, if a person's ever selling a pair of shoes with the box, that's how you know the shoes are in good condition. That's just a, that's just a standard. But anywho, I got these for sixty dollars, and the retail is like one eighty. So this is a steal. And these are nine and a half, and I wear a ten and a half or a ten, so I went down all the way side, and they fit perfectly. So that's great. So these six inch, that's a classic right there. And then, so the next pair of shoes I want to show you guys. Now these shoes right here, oh my gosh! Like I, the last time I wore them, I didn't even clean them because these shoes I ball in. These LeBron Nine Entourage sneakers, like as a lifestyle shoe, it works because it's blue and gold. But since the fly wire started coming apart because I ball in these so much and like the, my friend that had these before me he kind of beat them up a little bit too so you'll never see me wear this like to flex this is a shoe that I strictly ball in that's why it's so dirty but look 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 at this I think one time I, I went to the gym in these too so I ball in these I go to the gym in them so that shoe is no longer a flex but this next shoe right that I'm about to show you now this is a flex you see this this special LeBron 9 box right here LeBron 9 lose Bro, like how I got the shoes, this was the first time I ever won a giveaway in my entire life, bro. I mean, the first time I ever won a sneaker giveaway, I mean. So this is YouTuber named Jumpman Bostic. He's known for his basement of the J's. He has like over 800 pairs of Jordans. It's crazy. That man is a legend among the sneaker community. So basically him and this other sneakerhead called Top Shelf Sneaker, they had a giveaway, right? And you just had to post a pair of you wearing a pair of your favorite uh, Jordans. And I put up a picture of me in my military blue fours, and this was back in ninth grade. So, what, I got these back in 2013, like around January of that year. And so, yeah, so basically LeBron owns a soccer team called Liverpool, where he owns part of it. And this is what this colorway is inspired by, the Liverpool soccer jerseys, which is red and this mint green. If you look back to my channel four years ago, you'll see the original videos where I did the on-feet, the on-feet review of, this, of these shoes. That really takes me back. And... This is a shoe I'll never sell because I won them for free. So I feel like it'd be disrespectful to give away something you got for free, you know? Alright, so the next pair of shoes. And this... My OG subscribers know what this is. I did a custom, right? I had a pair of Air Force... Well, they're still the same pair. It's a pair of Air Force Ones that I bought from eBay for $35. They were beat to the ground. I mean, if you look closely, the leather is peeling. But I turned these shoes from trash to literal gold. So I also changed the aglets, as you can see, they have gold aglets. I painted the lace lock. When I hit a thousand subscribers, this was the special video that I did for all my subscribers that supported me. And I did an on-feet review of these too. So I mean, if you want to look, just go to my playlist of tutorials and you'll see the shoe and how I painted it and the process that I did. I used Angel's Gold Paint. 
So yeah, that's that's more of a reason to subscribe. I'm about to be doing more tutorials on how to paint shoes. You guys just have to stay tuned. And of course, the shoe that I replaced the old beat up Air Force Ones with are these right here. Now this, because of this shoe, this shoe has the most views on my channel. The, I did a Nike Air Force One review, on fee review, like last year, in around April of 2016. And this video, as of the time I'm recording this video, has 67,000 views. So that just shows you people, everyone loves Air Force Ones, bro. Like, it's a classic shoe. You can literally wear with anything because they're all white. The only bad thing is you have like, like up to three times you can wear this without beating it up. Me personally, they're still looking white. I keep them clean. The only thing that got me is the creasing. Like I literally put the shoe trees in here to keep the creasing from going to OC out of control. That's what we say in the DMV. But yeah, the creasing on these are it's starting to show. But there's nothing much I can really do about it, or can I? A tutorial coming soon. Y'all better subscribe if y'all want to see that tutorial. I'm just saying. And then the next pair of shoes right here are a pair of Roshi Runs. They're Nike Roshi Run Premiums. As you can see right here, it's a floor print. I got these last year. Even after the hype of the Roshi Run died, I still think it's a comfortable shoe and it looks nice. And the other reason I bought these shoes is because they were $42. Like, the retail for these is $85. Um, I don't know if my camera will focus, but the retail for this is $85. And I remember the first pair of Roshi Runs I got was back in 11th grade. And they fit perfectly until my feet grew a little bit. That's when I realized I was a true size 10 and a half. So the size 10 was too tight. So I bought this last year and these are mad comfortable and they look good. This is perfect for the summer and spring. And yeah. All right guys, so we're getting close to the Jordan section of this video, but only two more pairs of Nikes left to show. So these are my first pair of Roshi Runs that I got. I got these back in 2014, in my the beginning of my 11th grade year. And as you can tell from the bottoms, I literally beat these shoes to the ground, or at least I tried to, but I, I also cleaned them at the same time, so I, I guess I didn't really try to beat them to the ground, but I wear these shoes a lot, that's, that's just the point. So you can see some of the threading is coming out a little bit, because I marched in these shoes in my marching band practice, and this was the most comfortable shoe to march in too, so because I had all the ankle support in my arches, this was great. All those long days of school and I gotta walk up the stairs and my back hurt from my heavy backpack because I had all the textbooks. I was in honors classes. Why did I do that to myself? I'm, I'm out here trying to get an education. I'm hurting my back. You know, my school doesn't cover my health insurance. So, you know, it's, it's a whole thing, but that's besides the point. But yeah, these shoes, I wear them a lot because I only had five pairs of shoes at the time. So I was wearing a, a different shoe every day of the week, or at least I tried to. But I still ended up wearing these a lot. But yeah. Next pair of shoes. This is the very last pair of Nikes in my collection. It's a collab that you can tell by the special box. Anytime you see a special box in my collection, that means it's a special shoe. It's not a regular, smuggler shoe, you know? So, this is a collaboration between Nike and Concepts. Concepts is this brand out in New York. And the only people that got these special boxes are the people that bought the shoes from the Concepts website or the Concepts uh, store in New York, which is pretty cool because. The regular release that came out on Nike.com, it only had, it was a regular Nike SB box with the black, half black, half Tiffany box. And here are the shoes right here. It's all over stained glass design. And on the tongue it says Nike SB and then it says Concepts under it. Made in Vietnam. Most Jordans are made in China, but these are made in Vietnam. It's a little different, you know what I'm saying? And of course, I had to change the aglets because... These shoes are so nice, I was like, let me go ahead and put gold agates on to make them pop more because it has that hint, those hints of gold in the shoes. And then of course it has that clear plastic on the wings over here, which is pretty cool. And another cool thing about these shoes is that they have an uh, extra two pairs of laces that come with it. A pair of red laces and a pair of white laces. So I I'm thinking that maybe one day I should switch it up and try one of each or just try a set at a time and just see how they look. I don't know, I'm really feeling the black ones because I, I be, I'm trying to be low key when I wear shoes. It's just, it's just a subtle flex. So I try not to do too much with my lace color options. But hey, if y'all want me to change the laces, you guys just go ahead and comment below and say, Ozzy, change the laces for the SBs. Alright, so the next pair of shoes is going to be the first pair of shoes I'm going to show in, this in my collection video. As you can see, oh, are they a pair of 11s? Oh, are these OG 11s? Nah, I'm just messing with you guys. I do have a pair of 11s, but that will come later in the video. 
This is a pair of Air Jordan Features. What I like about it the most is that they're comfortable. It's all one piece. They're based off of the design of the Air Jordan 11s. They have like this woven texture, this woven upper. And where the 23 would be is just blank. And it has a jump in on the logo. The lacing system is very interesting. It's similar to the Roshi run, except instead of being in the middle, it like it like slopes upward in this weird pattern. And another cool thing about this particular shoe, the whole thing is made of reflective material. So if you take a picture of it with flash on, or you're walking at night and then like some high beams like shown on were shining on your shoes, you would see like a like the light reflecting off. That'd be so cool. So if you look at my finesse Fridays double OTD number 33, you'll see the part of the video where I like walk in the dark and the way the shoe lights up is amazing. All right, so next pair of shoes. So from this point on, all the shoes I'm gonna do it in numerical order, starting with the Air Jordan ones. As you can see, this is the Air Jordan one box with the red Nike swoosh on there, and all my Air Jordan ones are in a size 10. These are the Cyber Monday ones. As you can see, white Nike Air. I don't really like Air Jordan 1 mid, so I don't have any of those. I want to get the Breads one there. Hopefully I get them for like a reasonable price. But normally they're going for like 275 to 350 And I stay away from resale prices. As a matter of fact, not once in my entire life have I paid resale prices for a pair of shoes. I've sold shoes for resale prices, but I've never bought a pair. Because if you're trying to be a smart sneakerhead, you're not going to waste money on the shoes. You know what I'm saying? So as you can see, these are the Cyber Monday ones. Go ahead, bam, you know what I'm saying? All white bottoms. Well, the bottoms aren't white anymore because I wear the shoes a lot because team wear sneakers over here. I changed the laces. They used to be regular black laces, but I changed them to wax laces with gold aglets. I really like gold aglets in case you haven't noticed. It came with white laces too, but I never really liked how it looked. I thought the all black made the shoe look better. Because I have Chuck Taylors. You saw early in the video. The uh, leather Chuck Taylors with the white laces. So I thought I'm gonna just leave the white lace in there just so I feel like the shoes are more different than they really are. And then the next pair of ones that I have are Warrior ones. These are my favorite pair of ones. That might change if I ever get the All Star ones that came out in 2016. Yeah, they came out last year. But actually, these would still be my favorite ones no matter what because blue is my favorite color. Between these and the breads, I would still choose the Royals because the Royal, I like the Royal Blue, the shade of Royal Blue a lot better. And of course, I gave these shoes the special gold aglet treatment because these are one of my favorite ones. My favorite shoes actually. This is this will be my top five pair of shoes that I like the most in my collection. I might have to do a video about that one day. But if you guys want me to do that, you, you know what you have to do. You have to request it. So if you guys don't want it, I'm not gonna waste my time to do it. And of course. I have these Air Jordan 2s. They came out back in 2015 uh, as part of the remaster series. And yeah, they are the Air Jordan 2 Radio Raheems. The thing I like most about it, it has like this gradient from blue, from blue, pink, and orange, which is pretty cool. And I don't really like 2s like that, with the exception of the Just On 2s and these old uh, Silver Anniversary 2s that came out like back in 2004 or early 2000s or something like that. But yeah, twos, they have like this, they're really hard to pull off, in my opinion, because they're so simple. And these are the only Jordans that don't have a Jumpman logo on the outside of the shoe. On the inside of the shoe, there's a, there's a Jumpman on the insole. And of course, it says Nike in pink on the bottom. This is based off a character from a movie. I forget which movie it is, but just search a Radio Raheem and you'll, you'll see it. I think it's Do the Right Thing, if I'm not mistaken. I hope that's it. So, the thing I like about the shoe, it has like this suede, or this suede right here. It has tumbled leather. Then it has like this, this plastic part right here. That's like this. I don't know what 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 to call this material, but it's plastic. So it has like four different types of material on the shoes. That's why I like this too. I really have a lot of shoes with a black base, but you know it's whatever. And yeah, so we're about to move on to. I don't have any pair of Jordan threes, but I do have a pair of Jordan. 4. I really want to get a pair of Jordan threes. If someone can get me a pair of Air Jordan three black cements for a reasonable price. I wear a size 10, 10 and a half. If you guys aren't charging me more than 200, I'll buy it. If not, I'll just wait for them to retro again at some point in life. But yeah. Whew, okay, man. I feel like this video is going way longer than it should. I apologize for that. But hey, if you like sneakers, you're probably going to stay throughout the whole video. So the next pair of shoes. Of course, we got a classic right here. The Air Jordan 4. <sighs> Breads. This is the 2012 version. And 
the midsoles used to be cracked, but one of my friends that repaints midsoles, he repainted them. So they look brand new again. I'm actually about to sell these because next year, the 2018 version is going to have the Nike Air on the back. So I actually want that a lot more. So I'm going to sell these. Right now, my price is at 180 to 200 So if you want to buy them, I'm going to put them on my eBay. Just go ahead and comment below if you want that link, and I'll give it to you. And the cool thing about like the older Jordans, they always came with a retro card, so you learn the history about the shoes, have the little cool picture of Michael Jordan doing some crazy feats, like dunking on like 20 people. And he really dunking on like seven people, including like two little kids. Michael Jordan just embarrassing everybody. The goat. <laughs> Anywho, yeah. So I have two pairs of fours. The next pair of fours that I have are. Well, by the way, th those shoes aren't in the original box. The next pair of shoes that I have are the Air Jordan 4 Military Blue. The thing I hate about the shoe is that the, this part yellows up so much. Like, I always have to unyellow it using this unyellowing method. If you want to see the tutorial to that, just go through my tutorial playlist on my channel. You'll see it. But because I like blue so much, I, I really like the shoe. It's off-white, white, and blue with the neutral gray. It's like one of the only shoes that has... Sorry, let me let me rephrase that. It's one of the only pairs of Air Jordan Force that has leather and suede. But this part is leather and this part is suede. It's pretty cool. As you can see, the Air Jordan upside down. And the the back tab is blue. And I really like the shade of blue. So yeah, I mean I don't like if, if they made a, a pair of Air Jordan Force with like the royal blue colorway, I guess they kinda did. They did the uh, alternate motorsports. Which is pretty cool. Alright, so the next pair of shoes I have are a pair of Air Jordan 5s. These came out last year, 2016, in July. I bought them right before my birthday. And these are the black metallic 5s that came out last year. And this is how I lace my 5s. I don't, since it has a lace lock, there's no point in lacing it. So just make it look cool. This is inspired by Bullet RC, by the way. Shout out to him, one of the best sneaker YouTubers. He has the best on feet. This man will make any pair of shoes look good. Like, this man could wear a pair of sketches. He will, he would make me want to buy it, bro. I wouldn't buy it still, but I'm just saying, like, he makes the shoe look better with a pair of jeans. Like, he always has these H&M jeans that they never sell anymore. It's like these H&M distress skinnies or something like that. But anywho, the thing I like the most about Fives is that the tongue is 3M, so you take a picture of it with flash or uh, some light is shining on it at night and it reflects. It's really cool. And the bottoms, they're still clean. Just, I mean, they're not clean, but they're still blue. They still have that blue tint on them, which is pretty cool. A lot of people when they see me, they always ask me, oh, honestly, did you just buy them? I'm like, no, nah, I didn't buy them. I just want to keep my shoes clean. <sighs> I feel bad for you guys that are rocking dirty, beat up Jordans. <sighs> it's okay, though. Some of you guys don't really have a choice. Because, you know, the way these shoes are dropping now, every, a, a general relief Jordan is $200. 190 plus tax. For what reason? Bruh, I remember, I mean, I'm not going to say I remember, but back in 2006, like, the, I, I remember I had the, uh, military blue fours back in ninth grade. I had the 2006 pair, and I saw the, the retail price on the box. The retail was 115. Can you imagine the Jordans were still 115? But because of inflation, hype, the price skyrocketed all the way up to 200. I wish I lived in 2006, bro. Or I mean, I wish I was into sneakers in 2006. And my feet had grown. Cause man, 115 dollars for some sneakers. But nowadays it's easy to get whatever shoes you want. You can literally walk in the store and cop them. But yeah, I like these. Blue suede, pretty cool. Black shark teeth, or black flames, whatever you want to call them. 3M tongue, icy blue bottoms. Yep, if you saw my review of these, then you'll see in better lighting. And yeah, those are, so far I've shown you Jordans 1, 2, 4, and 5. I really wish I had a pair of 3 so badly. Either the black cements, the true blues, or what do you call it the white cement ones? Oh, and I also want the white cement fours. If anybody's trying to bless me with a good deal, we can maybe we can work something out. You know, I'm a college student on a budget, so you know, hey man, let me know if you got a deal for me. All right, guys, there are literally four more pairs of shoes in my collection. So next pair of shoes, these came out back in 2015. These are my only pair of sevens, the Air Jordans Seven sweaters, or AKA the Nothing But Net. Michael Jordan, he wore this crazy sweater with this same pattern on them in this McDonald's commercial. It was really cool. You can search it up. Just search Michael Jordan sweater commercial. I like. I really like the concept and the design. If this was black, 
this the white everything that was white on the shoe was black. It would look a lot better. Someone actually did a custom like that on Instagram. It was really cool. Uh, but I at first I wanted to do the custom, but I was like, you know what? I think it looks a lot better with the white because a lot of white Air Jordan Seven usually don't work, but this one it works. It looks good. So if another pair of Jordan Sevens I really want are the hairs and the Bordeaux the Bordeaux Sevens. I actually want the Bordeaux Sevens more than these, but the Bordeaux Seven they were taxing at the time, and I got these for what? For one ten? For no one fifteen? And the retail was one ninety. So that's a steal. So I couldn't complain too much. So I have a pair of Sevens now, and then my next pair of Jordans, another pair of shoes from two thousand fifteen, and I got these for a deal too. I got these for just one hundred sixty, as you can see, the Air Jordan Eight Aquas. The cool thing about these, just like the OGs, the missiles, they sparkle, it has like this glitter effect, which is pretty cool. It, it really makes the shit look like it has diamonds on the midsole, which is pretty cool. Let's see if you guys can see it a little bit. I don't know how the lighting is looking. Oh, by the way, you guys like my Kicks on Fire shirt? I got this thing for $10. Like, they were having the little quick strike, and usually anytime I, I click on the thing, the website would crash. I wouldn't be able to get the shirt in my size. All they would have is the XL left. Like when I try to get the 3M version with the reflective uh, design on it, I couldn't get out. I was so salty. I'm still salty to this day. People are trying to sell it even for like 50. And you know me, I'm, I'm on a budget, so I, I can't do all that. And right now, this shoe right here, the Space Jam 11s, this is probably my favorite shoe in my collection at the moment. Definitely top five. This is either number one or two. It's between this and the Royal Ones. And like the box itself is so special. Like look at the inside. It's a galaxy. I have my own. I have my own universe inside the box. All right, okay, I'm not gonna lie. That was kind of champ, but that, you know that's besides the point. These shoes are nice. The XI in there. Let me do it this way. The XI in there. The 11. Oh my gosh, these shoes are just so beautiful. The, look, look at the patent leather. At first, when these shoes first came out, all the pictures showed. I was like, bro, they have with those peaks on them. And like back in the day, like before 2016, like. Jordan Lovers with Widow's Peaks, they were definitely fake, but now they're making Jordan Lovers with the Widow's Peak. At first, I didn't like them, but I've grown to get used to them. And still, I wanted the 2009 Space Jams, but the resale prices are too high for no reason. The same thing with the Air Jordan 5 black uh, metallic version. Like, the resale for those were like 250 and up for a shoe that's already old. They yell easily, but the new ones, the resale is now about that same price too, but only because... They're 11s and 5s, but I'm talking about like those shoes were already like the newer 11s and 5s, right? All the newer joints with clear bottoms, they have a blue tint to them, so they stay blue for a long period of time. So, unless you're wearing the shoes every day, they're gonna still keep that same blue tint. And you know me, I keep my shoes clean, I don't wear these shoes too much. I probably pull them out for special occasions. I mean, I clearly wear them because the soles are dirty, but they still have the blue tint to them. The patent leather is not scratched up, the carbon fiber is still looking good. So, in my eyes, these shoes are still looking great. Alright, so the very last pair of Jordans that I have in my collection. I don't have any 12s. I like 14s, but not all of them. I could, I, I might, I would rock 15s, but probably just the black and red one or the Carolina blue ones. I just gotta find the right jeans. And then my very last pair of shoes in my collection are the Air Jordan 13 Breasts. These are the ones that came out this year. And of course, the best thing about them is the what do you call it the 3m paneling all over here and of course the holographic thing right here with the jump man on it and for those of you that didn't know the air jordan 13 the cool thing about the sole is that they're designed after a black panther's paw print which is pretty cool of course it also has another little holographic thing but it's not as cool as the holographic circle over here which has like this green looking snake eyes effect to it and of course this has that New buck or no no this is definitely suede like the suede is actually really good quality on these and then yeah the only thing I don't like about the 13s that the tongue is like really floppy so, like when you're wearing your pants they like kind of move around a little bit so you have to adjust them but these shoes the tumble leather on the toe box is like really good yeah the only thing I don't like what Jordan Brand is doing they're raising the price for the shoes but they're lowering the quality which doesn't make sense the only shoes that are an exception are like the Air Jordan 11 releases and the premium. 11s like those sweet 11 ones and the collaboration they they'll tax on those but at least the quality will be good but that doesn't justify the fact that they could just lower the quality you can't raise the price and lower the quality that's why since april i haven't bought a pair of jordans if i get a pair of jordans i got them as a gift 
or someone sent them to me to review. And I'm just not spending over $200 on a pair of Jordans ever again. Unless there's some designer shoes. And even then, I'm still going to try to get them on sale if I can. But in the future, I'm going to definitely try to get some Balenciaga Arenas. Some Gucci Ace low top sneakers. And some red bottoms. Those, those are our sneaker goals right now. And of course, I want the Nike Air Mags. I seen this one guy at uh, Sneaker Mania DC in my uh, vlog number six. If you saw it, this guy named uh, RRJ Leach. You can find him on YouTube, The, the Life of a Hype Beast. And also, John Carlo Perch and CJ So Cool. They all have those shoes that I really want, the Nike Air Mags. But I just don't have 6000 to buy them. And now they have the auto lacing ones. But those ones cost like over 10 k so those are hard to find because there's only 100 pairs of those made. So that's even harder. But yeah, I just want a pair of Air Jordan 3 black cements, some red bottoms, some all black Balenciaga arenas, and yeah, some Gucci sneakers. Because I'm, if I'm going to spend all this money on sneakers, they better be designer at this point. I'm not spending over 200 pairs of shoes. The last pair of shoes that I've spent over 200 on were the Air Jordan 11s these and the black metallic fives that I bought last year and the retail for those were 220 each and with tax in Maryland Maryland tax is 6% so they became 233 and 90 cents and yes I remember that because I remember seeing the account balance go down in my account and I said that I, and I was like this did I really just spend 233 dollars and 90 cents on these pair of shoes and I was like you're lucky like the re if the resale wasn't so high on these shoes I wouldn't have bought them oh my goodness but yeah, anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed this new collection video. I hope it was entertaining for you. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but if this video gets 100 likes, I'll do a part two, and I'll show you guys the on-feet look of all the shoes. I'll show you all the fresh pants with the shoes, like the pants that I think look best with each shoe. And then, yeah, stay tuned. The Timberland uh, boot review is coming soon. I'm going to show you guys a lookbook for the Timberlands as well. So go ahead, press the subscribe button, and tap the bell next to my channel name so you're notified when I upload a new video. And that's all for now. Peace. This is Ozzy from Kicks on Fire, aka Ozzy T has Sprite. And hey, follow me on Instagram, hey underscore Ozzy, H E Y. It should be in the corner over here somewhere, or over there. It might be up here, or it might be over there. But anyway, just follow me on Instagram, hey underscore Ozzy, H E Y underscore O Z Z Y. And on Twitter, it's hey underscore Ozzy with two underscores, so H E Y, two underscores, O Z Z Y. And that's all for now, and I'm out. Peace. Do you know that it's lit up? Satisfaction guaranteed And I need that code just to flex Yeah, I need that code to finesse Need a chain to unlock all the stress Fury tripping down my neck Call me for the jet Jacuzzi in the private jet I don't buy no watches till time I buy it to make him go blind Can't you see? 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 Can't you see?